Hey everyone, Corey here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a, um, like a picture, I guess, or font. Not really font, but uh, make it look 3D and um, like glossy and all that. And uh, to me, this looks awesome. And uh, so let's get started. I'm going to hit print screen just so I can do it as a background. File new. There we go. Uh, double click the background and then start making your background however you want. I'm going to make mine. I'm going to fill it in with black. Switch it to a gray, which is 333333. And fill it in with a brush to 50. Well, 2500. There we go. Next, I'm going to make a text layer of a white. Um, do it with white, it looks the best. White. Um, type in game vids. And then I'm going to make that size 200. And then I'm going to change the font to the Call of Duty font, which is um, Bank Gothic MDBT. There we go. And then I'm going to center this. You should all know how to center your uh, work now. If not, then uh, control in the background. And then uh, center it up top. Now what we're going to do is we're going to change it so it's like 3D-ish. And what you want to do is come to Bevel and Emboss. So uh, double click it. <coughs> Go to bevel and emboss, and down here on the gloss contour, change it. Oops. Hit the little arrow next to it, and then pick this one, which is ring double. And uh, there you go. You got like a glossy look, and uh, it looks awesome. You can also change the the technique to chisel hard if you, and then you can make it go the whole way up if you like that or whatever. You guys can uh, you guys can uh, mess around with this and see what you like the best. Um, but I like just regular at size 5. So there we go, we're done with that. Now what we want to do is hold down control and uh, with our, as we're, we got to be on our text layer. And then hold down control and hit J and what that's going to do is duplicate it. Then hit right on your arrow key and then do it again and again and again and again. So do it five times and then hit uh, hold down shift and select all of them and then hit control E and what that's going to do is it's going to merge them together and then we're going to do it five more times. So J J, 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 well, control J and then hit right. And there we go. Now we have the font. Hold down shift. There we go. Um, now, if you want it just like this, then you're good to go. If not, and you want to change a color, you're going to have to change a color before you do it. So we're going to make a new font. Type in game vids. <coughs> Center it just so it's easier to see what we're doing. There we go. Now we'll double click, go to the bevel and emboss again, change it to um, a double ring, and then come over to color overlay, and then pick whatever color you want, a blue, a red, um, well, blue, red, green, whatever color you like. There we go. And then we're going to do the whole control J over. So control J, hit right, control J, hit right, control J, hit right. You get the idea. Do it five times. Um, you can do it more if you want. I just do it five times, and then I do it five more times after I um, merge everything together, and then I merge those together. Oops. Then I merge those together. So now we have this, and then I also have a white one that's behind it. So I'm going to center this right here, and then I'm going to um, turn on my white, and then I'm going to hit Control T, which is going to flip it. And then hit, uh, well, Control T is going to select it, and then you can right click and hit flip vertical. Now, uh, you can make the reflection whatever color you want um, if you want to make a different one. As you can see, I'm using red and uh, white on this one. I use red and blue. Um, you could use red and red if that's the case. Actually, we'll do that. <coughs> Control J, duplicate this. Control T, right click, flip vertical, and then drag it to the bottom so it's touching um, if you can do it where it's all touching like I use Call of Duty font so it's all level um, if you can do it where it's touching it looks the best but if not it's not a big deal and then make sure that you drag the reflection below that way it's not overlapping the top like it shouldn't because you're on the bottom but just to make sure and then uh, we're gonna come down here to the layer mask click it go over to a gradient black and make sure it's black to transparent hold down shift at the bottom of the screen drag up to the middle do it one more time and then we're going to change the opacity from 100% to uh, I do 15 you can choose whatever you want 
Now, if we're, we're going to change our background now. So what we're going to do is we're going to make another background. So I'm filled in with black. Oops. Filled in with black. And then change the brush to a white. There we go. And now uh, this is actually going to be our floor. So um, kind of get around where you want it to look good. I do around like the low, in between the, you know, like the, the top of it and the thing. That actually might be a little too high. There we go. And then just delete it. <clears throat> and now we have a background, which is this one, the background, and then the floor. And then it looks better on a, a white floor and not a, a black floor. But it's it's up to you. It's whatever. And then um, we're going to make one more layer. And we're going to come up to the rectangular marquee tool. And then I like to add a little shadow. So I get to the very edge of this um, of the, each letter. And then try to make it really small. And then I fill it in with black. Make sure you make a new layer. Or you're going to um, overlap your video. Overlap your stuff. But I uh, make the shadow like that. And then go up to filter. Blur. Gaussian blur. And then make it 8. Or whatever you think is best for you. And then uh, just line it up a little bit more. There we go. And then uh, what you want to do is you want to make sure that uh, the the top is on top, then the blur, and then the reflection. And there you go. Um, it's not that hard. Uh, you could do this with other stuff. Um, I'm going to open up my template that I use here. And uh, if you um, come to the, the actual template, you can put it on the bevel and emboss. And uh, there you go. And then you can do the color overlays, whatever. And uh, it looks pretty cool. Um, that's what I do on my uh, YouTube background. That's on my uh, my channels now. And um, but I don't do a color. I do a picture. Um, but yeah, so you know, it gives it a nice feel to it. It makes it um, um what's the word I'm thinking of? I'm not sure. But uh, it looks good. And then uh, you can also do like a gold looks good. Um, with the color. I think it's F two. E624 right there yep that's the color and then just uh, type in your text and then if you do the bevel and emboss thing uh, it looks gold yep there you go so that's if you want the gold text as well um, but I don't know I think it's better with just like random colors whatever colors you want um, you could do rainbow if you wanted um, to do a more than one color you would have to uh, make a new layer. I'll show you real quick. Uh, make it white. <coughs> Type in your text. Um, so, center it. And then uh, say, like, I wanted half. Oops. There we go. Say I wanted half of it uh, red and half of it blue. So, um, what you would do is, like, Make this red. Um, do the bevel and emboss first. So bevel and emboss so you can see what it looks like. There we go. Then make a new layer. <coughs> and then like if you wanted it half and half. So uh, do this half. Whatever color you want. I uh, will do red. Just so it stands out and you can see what I'm doing. And then uh, make the other half blue. And you don't have to get it like close. It doesn't matter how far off it is. Right here. There we go, blue. And then we're going to right click this and hit create clipping mask. And there you got the top red and the bottom blue. And then make sure that you hit control shift and E. I mean, hold down shift, select them both, and then hit control E before you do the um, the um, 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 the current, like the, the duplicating of it. So control J, control J. Make sure you do that before that because if you don't, then uh, it's going to look really weird if you do it after. So make sure that you save it before. But yeah, so hopefully this tutorial was helpful. If you guys have uh, any questions, leave a comment below, and I'll talk to you guys later. Have a great day.